Hi, good morning. Uh, it's Willie again with another video. Um, I was thinking about what in, what to uh, talk about today, and um, I sometimes just things come to me, um, like when I'm driving or wherever I'm talking to someone else. Um, these things just they pop into my head. Now, and sometimes I I lose. I lose that uh, with the treatment I'm on. I sometimes have um, a bit of a short-term memory um, lapse. So stuff I talk about sometimes comes from something I might have thought about a couple of weeks ago. I meant to talk about it and forgot. But today I um, I want to talk about something um, about how we learn. Um, and, and that's very relevant to suffering from cancer. So... I'll just give you a quick update on um, how things have been. Um, for those who don't know me, uh, my name's Woody. Uh, I've got prostate cancer, um, stage four, which in itself ain't great. And then uh, a couple of weeks ago, I also discovered I have um, skin, skin cancer um, on my head. Uh, so that put another uh, damper on things, I suppose. Um, and every night, my um, my wife lovingly uh, rubs this kind of cream into my head uh, that burns away the um, the cancer cells in there. It's a bit painful. Um, she has a smile on her face while she does it, um, and it's another thing I have to deal with. You know, it's it's another in the life of a cancer sufferer. So anyway, um, this week I've I've had a um, I've had a really good week in response to everything. Uh, the stuff on my head seems to be, after, what, two weeks now, seems to be starting to, to disappear, which is fantastic. Um, my PSA result, the PSA result has gone down, um, is now less than 0 0.01. So for those who don't know what that means, it's a blood test that I, I take every month to... Uh, to um, that processes the level of PSA in my blood, prostate antigen. The higher that is, the more risk of my cancer is coming back, or the worse it's getting. So it's it's in a nice settled state at the moment, and um, I'm hoping it stays that way for many, many years. Anyway, so it's gone to less than 0 0.01, that's what the hospital said. I had to wait an extra week for that result, because the first uh, test kind of got lost in the post sort of thing and they never they never got a result out of it so I had to do a retest at the beginning of this week and then wait a, couple, wait a couple of days to get the results of that so that in itself can cause a bit of stress if um, if you let it and um, I tried not to so that's good um, Christmas is coming I love Christmas I like we got a nice frosty weather here um, in fact the, the, the weather is really unusual so it makes it feel more more uh, Christmassy that's nice and I feel good about that. Uh, lights are up, decorations are up at home, the place feels lovely. So um, I'm happy with that. So anyway, on to today. I I want to talk about how we learn and I wanted to kind of bring it into... I was thinking about how I'm going to explain this in terms that mm, are easier for people to understand, I guess. Um, so I thought about what I do as a living. I'm a, I'm a driving instructor, okay? I teach people to drive ambulances um, on blue lights so um, I have this amazing job you know where I um, I teach people how to go out and save people's lives which uh, it's just an incredible job incredible feeling to be able to do that and I'm really honored to be able to do that job so um, it's a massive part of my life I love it and I'm very passionate about it as you might be able to tell but anyway I thought what what I wanted to do is try and explain how we learn stuff so that I could think about explaining how to learn about how we deal with cancer. So the two things make sense, I hope they do. Anyway, here goes, I'll give it a go. Uh, I believe, well, I know that, for instance, I get three students every no month that come to me um, that already know how to drive, okay? So they've got their license, they know how to drive, but we train them in a different way. So they've got to unlearn stuff in order to learn to drive on emergency response. So the course lasts for a month, and what they need to do is put uh, conscious learning. So they have to really think about what they're doing before they do it. Whereas what happens normally is if you've been driving for a while, you start 
uh, learning things, it's, uh, muscle memory is a good, a good word for it. But basically what happens is the, th the mind does not have to do it, it's the body that does it. So what happens is in eventually when you learn something is the body takes over the mind, it just does things. And when you drive a car, for instance, you don't have to think consciously every time you change a gear or you brake or you, you check your mirrors, you just do it. Okay, because it becomes part of a routine that you become, um, you be, it just becomes part of doing something that you're unaware of doing it. So sometimes you can even drive somewhere without even recognizing the fact you've driven there. Um, you could go on the same route all the time without even recognizing anything that you've done. You just suddenly got there and arrived home and thought, well, I don't remember that drive. And that's because your body has become completely um it's taken over the mind the mind and the body have become one okay so before you're thinking what's what you're going on about here how has this got to what's this got to do with cancer well the more we program ourselves to do something okay so i teach these these students that come along and i change the way they um drive okay to a different system of driving. Now, they can already drive, so they can already do bits and pieces, but what we do is you have some things that we change, and they have to consciously think, especially for the first week and the first two weeks, about how to do that. And then week three, they go into blue lights, they have to think differently, because they're not used to, for instance, driving on the opposite side of the road into oncoming traffic, and that means they've got to really reprogram their brain to deal with that situation. And what I notice is as the, the course goes along, you can see that the, the, the memory, the muscle memory starts to build. And you can see the process of learning taking place. And you can see people not having to think so much, but just starting to do stuff. Okay, And so it becomes um, more and more the body taking over the mind. Now, to actually c compare that to what we deal with, and how we learn to deal with it, I think it's very similar. I think if we consciously keep telling ourselves how bad it is, um, how rubbish we are at stuff, how, um, you know, every single thing, aspect of our life, the more we tell ourselves something, the more the body takes over. So you, your body makes chemicals, it makes experiences. Um, and the more you tell yourself something, the more you, you become that. Simple as that. You teach yourself to become a certain way. Now, when you get cancer, now this is my experience, and I think many people will have the same experience, okay? When you get cancer, you've got to think differently. You suddenly, your, your world, particularly at the beginning, comes to an end. It feels like it's the first time you hear those words. I'm really sorry to say you got cancer your world falls apart. I don't think anyone in the world deals with that any differently. It just does, it collapses around you because everything that's normally in your life changes and you have to do things differently. Now, once, you've looked, once you start dealing with that, if you deal with that in a negative way, which is perfectly understandable, okay? Anyone that's got cancer, it's, it's perfectly normal and understandable that you're going to deal with it in a in a negative way you're going to start thinking about your time left you're going to start thinking about scared of dying all that kind of stuff that, that that just naturally comes because this wasn't a part of your life until now and this part of the life has come along we don't want it but it's just it's it's an unwanted guest that's come along and we 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 can't just show it the door and so i my belief is that if i want to at the very least make myself feel better whilst dealing with it because the, the more worse I feel the worse everything is the pain gets worse the experience of having cancer becomes worse and worse and worse and so I have to teach my body through my thinking how to react so that my body does the doing okay I hope you get me by now okay so I have to feed myself with positivity I have to help myself somehow 
to get away from the dark areas that um, cancer brings, which is, um, again, like I say, per perfectly understandable and reasonable for anyone. Um, and so that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I've been doing for a long time now, for about a year and year and three months since I got diagnosed, is that I recognise that at the beginning I was teaching my body a new way of living. So I was teaching it to become negative. So the pain was bad. Everything, everything about it was bad. My thoughts become bad. Um, and very negative, okay? And so I've had to make a conscious effort to change that, and a conscious effort means that I'm, I'm literally telling myself what to do until that becomes a, a normality, it becomes normal, okay? I tell myself, for instance, that I need to focus on now rather than the future, okay? great to have a goal in the future but I don't want to be focusing on the negative future positive future Christmas coming up then I want to see next Christmas birthdays my kids you know all that stuff those positive values and positive steps I think are so important to focus on but don't focus on the negative aspects of the future about the what ifs what ifs are what they are they, they you never know no one knows okay I think now here's a bit that may be a bit controversial. I think we learn over years and years and years to, I think we, we, we teach our bodies um, to get cancer. This is, this is my own thought about this, okay? Not on purpose, but by what we do to ourselves. As I said in the last um, video, I was talking about depression and how we, we learn depression. Um, our body learns how to have cancer. I I'm, I'm truly believe that the way we do these things in our life, our, the emotional things we teach ourselves, we teach ourselves we're not good enough, we teach ourselves um, to become depressed. It's not the things that happen to us, it's the way we deal with the things that happen to us that's important. At the time that doesn't seem real, but it is real. Um, and so, if we're teaching our body how to have cancer, then, then surely we can unlearn that. That's what, that's my idea is my body's got cancer, right? Now I want to teach my body how to not have cancer. So this is all an experiment, really. What I'm doing is, is trying to um, change my world, my inner world and my outer world, okay? I try not to sweat the small stuff anymore. I try not to get involved in petty arguments, anything like that. I would rather just walk away. I'm grateful. I, I have a strong, strong belief in gratitude, helping, um, being kind. All these things are promoting strong values and strong beliefs and a stronger immunity system. The immune system, sorry. It starts to grow and become stronger. So I think cancer only survives in the inner world of where where it where it's happy so i want to make it unhappy to live there i don't want to hate it uh, and i really um i'm not going to go down that route i'm going to enjoy the benefits i have from it which is really weird again i have got benefits and i think anyone that's been through it and up to this stage where i am now will discover that they they hold life more dearer than they've ever done and so there is benefits to that. There's things that open up your eyes and make you see different. The world is a different place with cancer once you've got used to it. Okay. Um, yeah, life life for me now is a, is a much better place in a, in a very, very strange way. I feel much freer to love. Um, I'm not ashamed of myself. I'm not, you know, all these things in my life, the, the past that have, my body has learnt um to do you know I, I can again go back to another driving analogy where for instance i might be driving down the road and all of a sudden i come to a queue of traffic my body would learn to get stressed it would see the traffic i wouldn't have to think about it i just become stressed it'd be supplying chemicals in my body that make me stressed so we have to change that round we have to learn how to supply our um to change our inside to make us become less stressed 
and the less stressed we are, the immune system gets stronger. I don't think cancer likes it when we're less stressed. I really don't. I think, I think, and my belief is that the more that we take stress out of our lives, and this is really hard when you've got cancer, I think you can start to learn how to do that with little steps, meditation, practicing kindness, practicing gratitude, and just trying to take note of what you're saying. What are you, what are you telling yourself when you wake up in the morning? What's your, what's your language? What, what, what's your inner voice telling you? This is going to be another crap day. Well, hello, that is going to be another crap day. You've told yourself straight away, first thing in the morning. Your your body will start creating a crap day without you even doing anything with it. It will just make it a crap day. And the more you do that, the easier it is to become and have a crap day. So you can change the way you, you wake up in the morning, how you feel by consciously telling yourself, do you know what, today's going to be a much better day than yesterday. You, you keep telling yourself this over and over again. Use a mantra, whatever you need to do. The more you tell yourself, that the more positive you become, the more your body is going to take over and start learning to the point will become where you don't have to do it. You're just going to naturally start feeling that way because your body is going to have that chemical running through it. You're going to get upset. You're going to get things that let you down. You're going to have stuff happen to you. Okay, like I'm just saying at the beginning, my PSA test was delayed um, by a week. I should have been pulling what's left of my hair out. I should have been going up the wall worrying about it, okay? But I just didn't. I, I, there's nothing I could have done about it. My body has learned to, to react that way, okay? The old Woody from a few years ago being in this situation would be a much different person talking to you now. Um, so that's what I'm passing on. I'm trying to pass on the fact that if we if we can start helping ourselves by unlearning some of the reactions, the normal reactions we have to everything in life, the curveballs that are chucked at us, we can throw them back instead of just accepting it and letting the body take over and, 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 and just exploding us with chemicals that make us unhappy and sad and depressed um, and full of anxiety which beats up the immune system which then the cancer cells are like Yep, they love it. That's what they want. These are my thoughts, okay? I hope, again, that if I express these, and I I really appreciate the um, the people now that are replying, and I, I don't reply every day, but I'm trying to reply to every single person. It's starting to get more and more difficult as I realise that um, somewhere in the region of 30,000 people have now watched the... Um, the videos i don't mind if you share them i don't know if you, i don't mind what you want to say on there it's lovely to have this dialogue going i'm learning from people and people are learning from me and people are learning from other people um i'd like to say you're not alone and that's the the, the, the the one of the things that i found at the beginning was i felt alone there was no me here that, that, that was talking to people and i i i hope that that's what i'm trying to achieve um, because there's no other reason i do it other than to try and promote something out there that, that may help someone um, who's going through this and, and can't cope with it and doesn't understand um, and thinks that, that the end of the world is nigh and that's it because it isn't you can I believe you can unlearn the way you deal with stuff to become better at dealing with stuff and then you find your world changes because it changes from the inside out and you become better and better um, not just physically, but spiritually, mentally. Those things are, are so, so important. So, until the next time, I really hope you've enjoyed this. Please, um, it'd be nice if you give me a like. And that's nice if I if I see people are liking it. Um, I've not seen many thumbs down. I'm really pleased with that. So, obviously my thoughts and, and stuff that I'm talking about are being received okay. Um, it's quite... A scary thought at first doing this on a on a YouTube channel. Um, now it's become a bit more normal. And again, I, I've I've taught myself to become more 
used to doing this. Um, my, my body reacts, it's not scared, I'm not worried. Nothing phases me anymore anyway. Um, so until the next time, I um, just try and think about that. See if you can unlearn the way you deal with stuff and see if it works and give me some feedback um, because that'd be really helpful. And you can sub subscribe, believe it or not, um, by pressing a subscribe button. It's no, so simple and then you'll get these um, videos straight to you. Anyway, till the next time, please stay safe, stay kind, stay grateful and be positive. Okay, take care, bye.